Hey guys, welcome to episode number 96 of OG Toys Emoji. Today we're continuing to look at these awesome Mega Bloks World of Warcraft figure sets. We're going to take a look at Baron's Chase today. It's set number 91025, 128 pieces, comes with two awesome minifigures, a freaking wicked rocket, and a saber tooth tiger. Yeah, it's an awesome looking set, very uh, sword and fantasy, pride to the extreme, this World of Warcraft stuff by Mega Bloks has absolutely been amazing, they've been just smashing it right out of the ballpark every time, every set I've bought has been phenomenal, so when I saw this set, I thought for sure, it's going to be another awesome one, well, was it? Kind of was, kind of missed the mark on a couple of bots, but for the most part, this is an amazing set, let's take a close look at the first figure, his name is Tanavar. He's a night elf warrior. He's a very cool looking guy. One of the uh, most recognizable figures next to some of the uh, orcs and the blood elves for a guy who doesn't know anything about World of Warcraft. I instantly knew, oh yeah, I've seen that guy before uh, from the comic books, I believe, from uh, Wildstorm and DC Comics, and of course some of the commercials. You just see these guys. And of course, DC Direct and DC Unlimited back then made um, a huge amount of World of Warcraft figures, but they weren't really figures. They were more or less statues that had no articulation, which kind of sucked because they were pretty cool. But uh, I can't remember if they made this guy. I know for sure they made Severin, one of the Blood Elves, who was just an awesome-looking character. But that's for another time. Rambling. Let's take a look at the Tanavar figure and your, get your general impressions of this guy. General impressions. Wow. Detailed. Awesome paint job, great color scheme, just another fantastic Mega Bloks figure. Tons of detail in the armor, and of course, not a single paint smudge, a line that's messed up. He just looks awesome. I love the color scheme on this guy. The burgundy bodysuits, you got the gunmetal gray and the gold accents all throughout the armor, with the pale skin tone, the dark hair, and even this cool purple sword is pretty darn cool. Let's take a closer look at this. Now it's supposed to be like a crystal energy sword and uh, at first I was like man they didn't even paint it. But then you kind of realize okay if you put it up to the light you know you can shine a bit more light onto it and it kind of has that crystal energy so it's pretty cool. It's interesting for sure and uh, just plugs right into the back here. He does have this extra peg that's completely removable and uh, you can put his figure, the figure's weapon, or any weapon really, right into there and just plug it into the back where there's that hole. Now speaking of the figure, the articulation on this guy, where we'll go over that, he does have a ball joint in the, uh, the arm shoulder area. He's got a pivot right in the elbow, 360 on the wrist. He has waist articulation, mine's really tight, which is great. He does have ball jointed legs. You can get those in some pretty good poses. And he does have a hinge right for the knee. No ankle articulation, but uh, it's not a big deal. These things um, have a great amount of articulation. Better than a Lego figure, for sure. And you can get them in some pretty cool poses. They're just awesome-looking figures. They've done such a good job capturing the, uh, I guess, that real Sword and Fantasy look of the characters and just incorporating them to these. Would kill to see a six-inch line of these figures with these awesome beasts that they ride, vehicles. Man, I wish Toy Biz was still around or, uh, you know, just someone to really pick up the ball on these guys because this would be an, a killer line. So if we pop off his head, you know, we'll take a look at the armor underneath here. So you can see it's just got that, that burgundy body armor, musculature as well. Shoulder pads are completely removable. The big theme with these guys is the custom ability traits. You can uh, mix and match armors from different sets and create your own kind of characters. Haven't really gotten around to doing that, to tell you the truth. Um, I will probably down the road if I get bored of looking at these guys and want to change it up a bit. But they just look so awesome the way they are. I'm good enough. Like, I am really happy just <laughs> the way they are. But see, you can put them on without armor, give one shoulder pad, whatever you want. You can do anything, and you can swap them with some different characters. Uh, armor, weapons, heads, whatever you feel like. And uh, it's just really cool. They did a great job with these figures. The new body styling is really impressive. Um, comparing it to a Halo figure, which unfortunately I don't have any Halo sets to compare it with, 
but just seeing some other reviews and just looking at the figures in the stores, these guys just look like they took that articulation which they had and just made the proportions better, made them a little taller by the looks of things too. But uh, they're just awesome, awesome looking minifigures. So we'll just simply put his armor back on and we'll take a look at his uh, his mount and lightsaber. Nightsaber is a very cool looking saber to a tiger. Uh, when I saw some of the uh, the pics of this set, I was like, oh man, this is definitely one of the sets I wanted to get, and uh, I'm glad I did, because they did a phenomenal job on it. So we'll just plug this back in, and we'll take a look at Nightsaber. This thing is just amazing. Saber 2 Tiger, tons of armor. One thing that was weird, though, when they uh, got this thing out of the package, it was already pre-built. It came in a poly bag, pre-built, which, okay, not a big deal. I just thought it was kind of weird that it came pre-built, and it didn't have any armor on the legs here. You can tell there's two plug-ins there. It's the same hind legs that they used in the Swift Warren set, and it had the armor here. Would have been cool to have the extra armor pieces here as well, but uh, no such luck. You did have to or yeah, not assemble. You did have to place the, uh, the saddle and the harness on, and that's about it. Articulation-wise, this thing does have a pretty good ball joint head, a lot of range of movement there. Kind of limited on the uh, range of movement on the the limbs. Just a simple ball socket that plugs in right there. You don't have any hinges on the uh, the limbs to give them some extra articulation, but it's not a big deal. Because it just looks great as is. And these are kind of pre-mounted, or pre-molded, excuse me, the limbs. So they're kind of meant to give them that, you know, imposing, crowding look. Crouching look. And he's coming after you. It just looks great. Phenomenal job on the paint. And all of that detail on the face. Great job. So, we'll just put this guy on top. And uh, we'll see what he looks like. Alright, so just get him in there, and there you go. Very cool. We got the night elf riding his giant saber tooth tiger. Don't think it gets much better than that. Very cool. Now we'll take a look at the other figure. Now this guy's name is Dragath. These names are killer. God. But um, it's an imposing looking figure. He's a... Orc Warlock. Yes, Warlock. Um, it's huge. He's got a massive shoulder shoulder base here. It's just huge. And the armor, of course, is perfectly painted with the gold accents and the brown. It looks fantastic. His weapon is just really well done, too. A lot of detail on the edges as well. The diamond here in the top uh, just looks great. They did a fantastic paint job. Did have a slight bend to mine. You can see here, it does bend slightly. Not a big deal. You can try and bend it back a bit and strain it out. And again, with this guy, you know, armor can completely come off. I'm just show you what it looks like underneath. You know, very uh, good paint job underneath. I love this metallic color. It looks fantastic. And it's cool that they don't cheap out and just give it a no paint job or anything like that. Like I guess this is the way the uh, the tone of the plastic is molded and painted, but it just looks great. You can tell this is, you know, definitely has a good quality to it. You know, I've heard some of the Mega Block stuff in the past was not the best uh, quality, so to speak. And this figure definitely has some really nice features, good accents, and uh, it's a good quality figure without a doubt. It doesn't have any articulation in the leg though. His leg is just ball joint, and that's about it. He doesn't have to bend in the knee because of the long robes, which, you know, not a big deal to me. He looks cool just the way he is, and I like the way the robe is one piece with the leg. And it doesn't, you know, interfere with really any articulation because he can still move his legs around, so that's cool. Big, 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 big guy. Very bad-looking orc. Very cool. Now, for his vehicle... Now, this vehicle's strange looking. I'll give you that. This wasn't the thing that made me want to buy the set, really. It was, of course, Tanavar with uh, the Sabertooth Tiger Nightsaber. 
But this thing is really cool, and it's kind of grown on me. I like that this piece here, the uh, the shark face, was a printed piece, and not stickers, because that would have been tough to try and line up the eyes here. But it's good. It looks great. And, uh, you know, it's got the spinning fin in the back with this green flame we made from the engine. You got these other tubes coming out here. You got two seats. You can put a goblin character or whatever. Another orc on there. And it just has a cool look to it. You can just see this thing ripping through the desert. It would be pretty cool. Very well done. I like it. And, of course, you can put them back on. You can fit in either one, either seat. And, basically, this just plugs into the hole on his back. And there you go. Now, the figure set does include these flags, which, of course, this represents the good guys, and the red represents the evil bad guy army. And it's just mounted on these crosses here, which I thought was kind of cool. It's um, an interesting piece. I haven't seen anything like this, even in Lego, with this kind of uh, structure of the long pole. And these pieces here to mount objects onto, or bricks, excuse me. Very cool. Now the flag itself, it's a harder plastic. No real bend into it. But uh, it attaches very easily. Good decals are on it. This was a printed piece as well. It just looks really good. They did a great job on these things. So there you go, guys. Now, the weapon. Let's get to that. The mystery weapon this thing came with does come with a sealed poly bag with a bunch of question marks on it so you don't know what you're getting and I'm not sure if everyone else gets the exact same weapon or it's different weapons randomly inserted so do leave a comment at the bottom if you have this set it's which weapon did you get I got this one here it's like a green mace I guess it's just a, a clobbering stick I'm gonna call, call it something like that but it's green and it's got a couple spikes on the top and the bottom it looks kind of cool. It's very heavy compared to some of the other weapons. They're quite light. This doesn't have some good good weight to it. And uh, it's pretty cool. The instructions. You know, it's a pretty basic build. It took me less than, you know, probably like five minutes to build this thing. But you got a picture of the guys on the, on the front. What I thought was really cool is, just like Lord of the Rings did, they have all the figures pictured that are available I like the way they did this. They have all the characters. You know, it was cool to see you got the, on the far end here, you got your Blood Elves, Severin and Valoran. And then you got this goblin guy, Pitts. It's kind of cool. And then you have another goblin right beside him. Now, of course, they're the same race. So, okay, they can kind of look the same, but the armor's different, which is good. And then you got these two guys up here. You know, Scarbuck and Light Hoof. And Light Hoof looks like one of the most detailed characters right next to Valoran for paint apps and it just looks phenomenal. He comes with that huge Zeppelin, a goblin Zeppelin, which I'm definitely gonna be picking up soon. And of course you got this guy here. His name is Arthath. I'm I don't know how to say it. Arhath. Probably butchering it, and I'm sure millions of people know how to say it, but I don't. I'm sorry. Um, the Lich King. That comes with that huge dragon, and it looks phenomenal. His weapon looks fantastic. And then you got a couple of the uh, good guys here. It's all the bad guys. You're good guys. You know, it's funny. Colton and Markov have these exact same face sculpts with just a repaint on the hair. Kind of would have liked to have seen this guy repainted or a new face for him for sure. But... It kind of sucks. You got your elves here, your night elves, which again, each one is distinct looking. It looks great. I really like Dark Howl. He comes with the Zeppelin as well. And you got Graven and Varian Warren. Varian Warren, I believe he's the knight. This guy here. And again, amazing sword. Very cool looking figure. Just some great stuff. Um, man, these minifigures are probably the highlight of this set. They do a fantastic job on them. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We've got more Mega Block reviews and more other interesting, cool reviews coming shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.